we are back. Baba Yaga's been having some issues, but internet network. As you all know, I've been excommunicado, so I don't have the best continental internet connection. Not the greatest. Think of that story. <laughs> you know what I think? I'm trying not to laugh. The way you ask me these serious questions, you look like a a breed of Dr. Phil and a lion. Yeah. Like a Dr. Phil had a baby with a lion. And you'll be right back, right after these messages. Because we're told, and we're not particularly excited, are we? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I don't tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I bring out to learn his ways. I haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all this coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. And what do you want me to do about it? Keep an eye on the beggar. Aye, got some coin to spare your humble story, teller. Fine. Let's hear your stupid story. Here's 100 G. Much appreciated. Hurry up. Come on, everybody. Diamond Fresh. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Let's go. We gotta go on a journey. Come on. Why don't you consider lightening your pack, Master? Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. You mean you want me to sell some stuff? What are you guys doing? Follow me. Why won't you follow me? I said follow me. What the hell's going on? I gave you an order. Follow me.
the hell? Oh, the performance issue here, it's so bad. Oh my god. Let me see something. How about... How about this? Yeah, what do you need? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? I have time to lose, so let's get on with your quest. My thanks, sir. As to the matter of the show is no upstart business. Your what? Your ox cart business. What is that all about? I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. But now I feel prepared to start making trips to Mel again. And what do you want me to do about it? Only trouble is, there are still monsters around, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. And I suppose you want me to go with you, with my pawns, and give you the assistance while you deliver the goods. Am I getting this right? That's where you call it. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margaret, the watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Selenic in Mel. If you're gonna ask me to do this, I need to know how much in coin. Are you prepared to pay me? I'd like you to accompany the cart in my state and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? I say I need a price. What are you willing to pay? Fine. I'll do this thing for you. But there better be some good coin waiting for me, or I'm coming back, not just with a letter, but with a pencil, and you do not want to know what I'm willing to do with that pencil. Splendid. I knew I was right to <laughs> you. Yeah, don't put your faith in Baba Yaga, unless you're willing to put yourself in a red circle. From the looks of it, you already have a red jacket. 
so that tells me you're a big red circle target anyway. Like I said, there better be a good coin for me. Or don't worry about that letter. Worry about the pencil coming your way. Don't worry. You won't have to worry about the time once I stab you with a pencil. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice, and I would advise against trying any funny business. Don't worry about the funny business. You should worry about my pencils. Each car travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see, in case it encounters any monsters out on the road. Leave the monsters to me. Remember, I'm the kind of guy you hired to kill the boogeyman. So why don't we cut this small talk and get on with what's important here. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. So are you trying to tell me it's not bad enough that you are asking me for a damn favor to deliver this stupid letter to you. But at the same time, you're telling me I need to pay to ride this stupid carriage. Am I getting this right? Or maybe I'll find you with a pencil in your neck. I hope not for your sake. This time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Yeah, you better pay me a good coin. For your sake, not mine. Come find me when you deliver that. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. This needs to be delivered. Shall we see it done? Yeah, let's see it done. Hold on, I need to adjust my graphic settings. So I gotta deliver this letter to this geezer, and uh, he didn't tell me how much he's gonna pay me, so I have to do that and see what's gonna happen. Hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully uh, it's not one of those fugazi missions where I deliver the letter and I get nothing. I get like maybe a couple of coins. Let's do this. Start the game. Options.
I cranked up the graphics. Let's see. But it really doesn't matter, Magic, like what type of uh, settings you use. The game is poorly optimized for PC, no matter what. Um, we just gotta wait for the patch or a new driver. Let's go. We got a mission to do here. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Don't we see? Damn, this is a long way to go. My internet went down. Come on, let's hurry up. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing <laughs> when to use curatives is my speciality. How about, no, how about I stab you with a pencil, right in your crotch? The answer is no, I do not want you. No, never, never. I don't care, even if you were the last human on this planet, the answer would still be no. No! <laughs> the answer is no. That's the final answer.
Helm. Shall we take a closer look? Jesus Christ. Let's go. <laughs> no. Just recall the little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vimundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell us, there's been a shift in the chain of command. Really? A shift in the chain of command? What else have you heard? All right, let's move on. That's one image in my head. I will never be able to erase. That guy. That Sasquatch. With his big giant crotch. And a G-string. And a stockings. And that hair. No, he wanted me to hire him as one of his pawns. I said, hell no. Hell no. I told him, even if you were the last human on this planet, the answer would still be no. Yeah, the game looks great. Um, at least on the PC. On the 37, it looks great. I cranked everything up to the maximum settings. Looks great. Let's continue. I know, right? Oh, what the hell is that? Let's go. Not compares to the thrill of victory. I cannot help but feel indomitable. Oh. Get in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. Yeah, I need to catch a breath. You know, I'm getting too old for this shit. You know that. That's why I need those puppies. Save those puppies for me later on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Part of the woke squad. <laughs> Dude, why are you getting so tired, John Wick? I mean, nothing for nothing. Wake me up, come on. You need some help, Anya. Hold on. Let me give her some help. I got some items for her. Here. I think you're gonna need this.
Wait. Let me give this. Give it to Anya. Give it to. There you go. Diamond Fresh, you're gonna need some too. Give this to Ada. All right. Hey, Diamond Fresh. You don't need the pants. I just realized. I'm gonna remove your pants. You don't need them. Just saying. Yeah. Let me grab you. Hold up. Have I incurred your wrath with some respect, Master? I'm just saying you don't need the pants. That's all I'm saying. Hold up. I don't think my chicks need any pants. Weak man. <laughs> Let me see. Nobody needs any pants. Just saying. It's not necessary. Anya, you don't need the pants either. I'm just saying. That's fine. You don't need the pants. Ada, you don't need the pants either, I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. Or know what happened. Oh, there they are. You see, you guys look better without any pants. All I'm saying is you guys look better barefoot. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let's go. Wait. Let me save the game. Hold up. I think the, this is too much for my PC. I need to lower the settings. It's ridiculous. Yeah. There we go. It's good. Ray tracing is off. Everything's set to high. High settings, yeah. Save changes. Here we go. That's better. Yeah, that's better. It's a little bit better, I think. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Yeah, let's look for the ingredients.
Come on. Let's hurry up. As the arisen commands, so must we abide. That's Show right. Here we go. Come on. Oh my god! Revive me. Oh my god, I have died. Oh my god. Nah, performance has been terrible, man. Um, I could try low settings, you know, I could try some other stuff. But man, the performance has been... Ugh. Ugh. Let me go, uh, hold on, uh, go to the, uh, save, I want to see what I can do here, there's got to be, there's got to be something else I can do to keep the performance going. Let me see. What happened? 1440p? No, we're not going to do that. Hold on. Performance. Let's go ultra performance and... Uh... uh pa -pa 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 -pa. Let's try Ultra Performance DLSS. Uh, pa, 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 pa. What is this? Vertical Synchronization. Uh, I would turn this off. Here. Now, this is going to be like, uh, it is what it is, but all I care about is performance, you know. Let me get that performance. Because I'm all about the, dude, I got to have that performance, you know what I mean? Especially for a game like this. I mean, it would be nice to have a, a great graphics and performance at the same time, but...
Let them run. We need not waste our strength. Leave my diamond fresh. Leave it alone. How dare you. Golden Diamond Fresh. Coming for you. Forgive me for being a burden arisen. The performance, man, even at the ultra, ultra performance DLSS, it's still bad, dude. It's so badly optimized. Oh my god. All right, let's see. Upscale sharpening. Let's bring it up. There we go. Let me see. Ah, a little bit better. I don't know. It's a little bit better. You get her. Get that bitch. You got her. Ada, you need some help. Hold on. Give her some items. Give to Ada too. Give to Ada. Diamond Fresh is fine. You so. truly are formidable, Arisen. Good. Let's go. Oh no. Jesus. Single-mindedness makes our enemy predictable. 
Oh, what the hell is that? Get him! Get his ass! We can ill afford to rush headlong into battle. Let us watch our foe carefully to determine our best strategy here. Get that asshole! Right in the ass. I need some help. Anya, come here. Oh, he's done. Get his ass. You know, let's just leave him alone, guys. Leave him alone. Let's get out of here. Everybody, come on. Leave him alone. Let him be. Let him be. Let him live. Let him live. I want him to live. Do you understand? Just run. Fuck. I guess he's not gonna live. I gave you a chance to live, you ass. Kid. Okay. Right? I'm alright. I guess he wants to die. Fine. I gave you a chance to live, asshole. Now you're gonna die. Hold on, I need I need an items. I need something. Anything. Jesus. How was I poisoned? Who poisoned me? Jesus Christ.
fuck? How did I get poisoned? Fuck, dude. Dude, I got poisoned. Someone put something in my inventory and got poisoned. Holy shit. That's so cool, dude. No, I mean, it's kind of cool concept. Like, I didn't see that coming, right? Holy shit. Hold on. high in quality. Let's see if this works. Well, I tried to let him be, but he started following us, you know. I I wanted to run away and just let him be, but he was so determined to to come after us. Let's go. Let's just run, guys. Run. Let's go. Oh, fuck. I guess we have no choice. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Who's down? Fuck, Diamond Fresh. No. Oh, he grabbed Anya. Oh, my God. This asshole. Let her be. Jesus Christ. Leave Anya alone, you fuck. What are you doing to her? Leave her. You fuck. Hold on, let me give Anya some items. Hold on. Um, this is really cool, actually.
All right, let's go. Get that ass. Leave Diamond Fresh alone, you fuck. No. Enemy slows. Perhaps we have tied them out. We must make the most of this opportunity. Leave Diamond Fresh. Leave her. Fucking die, asshole. What has stricken you? What arisen? You're no. To tell, but your own terror Get up. Diamond fresh. Get up. It's not over yet. Let's get this asshole. Fuck, this guy will die. Get it. Get that asshole. Get him. Get that motherfucker. Jesus Christ. You know, I, w I wish I could run away from this guy, but Jesus. I wish I had a mage as a pawn, dude. Having a mage as a pawn, oh, dude, it's it's the best. All right, just follow me, guys. Run away. Just run. Fuck it. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Right now, we just run. All right. Just run, guys. Run. Uh, we're not ready for this guy. I'm sorry. Run, Diamond. Victory, I'll see. 
Oh, this asshole is following us. Come on, run. Jesus. Man. Let's kill him. get some items hold on okay Hey Alex, welcome to the chat. I'm doing fine, thank you Alex. How you doing? No, leave Anya alone. No! Jeez, let me go. Guys, let's just run. Run! Is that, is that a mage? We got a mage over here. Who's this? Wait, we can kill this guy. We got a mage. Oh, fuck. He got me. Get him, guys. Get him. This is the time to get him. Get his ass. Get him. Dragon plague that your pawns can get, it destroys the whole village. I didn't know that. That's scary. Man, this thing will never die. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get this asshole. Get him while the iron is hot. Get him. Oh shit, diamond fresh. Don't give him a chance to recover. End his ass.
Don't give him a chance to fucking recover. Let's go. Let's get him. Let's get him. Go, go, go. After him. Get him! Get him! It's fucking running. You done, asshole. Oh my god, he recovered again. Get the fuck out of here. Guys, let's get out of here. We don't have time for this bullshit. This asshole will never stop recovering. Oh fuck, who's dying? Diamond Fresh, no! Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't know, he's keep recovering, dude. Like, I don't know how the fuck. I don't know, God. Yeah, what the fuck was that? I hope it's not a glitch. Hope it's not a glitch. Alright, let's just run as far as we can. Alright, follow me, you asshole. Yeah, follow me. Yeah. Yes, we have to run. Thank you. Let's run. Let's get out of here. Attack now while the ogre's attention is fixed on its favorite prey. Make haste. Jeez. Damn it. All creatures who know death. Look, he grabbed me. Holy shit. Let's get out of here. Come on. Everybody, this way. Come on. Fuck, man. Let's save the game. This way. To uh, get some help. this
Let's save the game. Hold on. Yeah, what was that? What was that? Like... That made no sense, dude. Like, I hope it's not a glitch, because, uh... Dude, we... He was walking. He wasn't even resting. He was walking. And, um... Uh, and he still gained the health. Like, what was that all about, dude? Man, the performance on the PC is just god awful, dude. I mean, I'm sorry, Capcom, but this is unacceptable. I mean, come on. You had plenty of time to sort this shit out. I mean, this is just terrible. You know, this is just god awful. Why? Listen, I gave him my health and they're not using it. What the fuck? I gave my pawns a health and they're not using it. Are you serious? Let's see. Look, they're not using it. the fuck why aren't you using uh, the health that I gave you Okay, so this game has a glitch. It has a glitch, has a bug on top of performance issues. That sucks, man. Fucking great. It's not bad enough that the performance is just terrible, poorly optimized, and on top of that, you got these bugs. I gave Anya and uh, Diamond Fresh and, and that other girl, I gave them a help, and they, and they wouldn't use it. They wouldn't use it. So there's clearly a bug. There's clearly a bug in this game, you know. It's, you know. As much as you want to love this game, it's hard to play it when it's in this kind of a state, you know. Um, it's like, you know.
your characters are not using the potion that you gave them and they're dying oh, fuck, man. let's just run fuck it you know, it's, it's ridiculous Goblins, master. we have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness avoid flame at any cost arisen you have been doused in oil yeah, but they had plenty of time. You know, see, this is like, this is my issue with, with today's developers. It's all, you know, this is a $8 billion company, Capcom. They're like a, some small company, you know, like like a higgy-me-jiggy company that just got established from last week. This is like a $8 billion net worth worldwide. $8 billion freaking dollars. We're not talking about some small money here. This is a big-ass company. I don't like the excuses. You had so many years to test this shit, to get everything worked out with NVIDIA, AMD, all that shit. You had plenty of time. And you didn't. I'm sick and tired of excuses. Look at this year. Last year, the year before. It's always some, some bullshit excuse. Even this year. With Suicide Squad. Nothing but excuses. Justice League. Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League. Oh. We encountered some issues with the servers. We understand. Hell Divers. I, Hell Divers, I understand. They didn't expect that the game was going to be so successful. And that so many people got, are going to want to play the game. So Hell Divers 2, I totally get it. I totally understand. Because... The developers of Hell Divers 2, they really had no clue that the Hell Divers 2 was going to be so successful. So Hell Divers 2, I give them a pass because they, they had no idea. They didn't have a crystal ball. But but these other companies, it's always the same shit, man. It's always like, look at Starfield when it came out. Issues and problems. This is becoming like a new standard. And this is what I'm talking about today's gaming. It's not bad enough that we're giving them $70, $80, $100, on top of them having an $8.3 billion net worth. They're always making these excuses. Always an excuse. With every game, it's just excuse. When are we going to stop with excuses? We're not asking too much. We're simply asking for a playable, working, freaking game. Is that too much to ask? That's like me going to a goddamn dealership and they sell me a car without an engine and wheels. I'm asking for a working car that has four wheels and a goddamn engine. Same thing here, man. If the game is not ready, don't fucking release it. Don't fucking release it. Which part of that do these developers do not fucking understand? Don't release it. If it's not ready, do not release it. Hold it off till it's ready. God damn it. I mean, it's, it's getting old. It's fucking, it's fucking getting old, man. It's getting fucking old. I'm getting tired of all of this shit, man. We're not asking for you to give us a brand new DLC, to give us a brand new character. We're not asking you to create a new world on top of this world. We're simply asking you to make the game work. I talked about this even with the game uh, Taxi, Taxi Life. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a small company, big company. Now, the big companies, there shouldn't be any excuse. Small companies, I get it. They're small companies. They don't have enough resources. So I, I kind of hold off on, on I went kind of easy on Taxi Life. And they listened to me. Developers of Taxi Life, they saw my, you know, uh, live streams and they listened and they patched up the game. You know. But they're small companies, so I get it. Taxi Life, you know, Simteract, they're, they're small companies, so I'm not going to be too hard on them because they're running a small company. This is a big-ass fucking company, all right? This is it's a fucking Capcom. We're talking about Capcom. We're not talking about some run-down-the-mill uh, higgy you know, developer company. 
I'm tired of excuses. Tired of it, man. If the game is not ready, don't release it on PC. Only release it on console. We used to do that. Uh, we're only going to release the game on the console. We cannot release it on the PC due to following reasons. We've been experiencing issues with NVIDIA drivers and AMD drivers and Intel CPU, da 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 da. Tired of it, dude. Tired. Everyone's fucking tired, dude. Tired, man. I just want to play the fucking game that I paid you money for. I paid you money. It's not my job to worry about if the game is working or not. It is your job. You make the big money. You're the developers. My job is when I give you the money to make sure that it's working. A customer is always right. There's, there, there's, there's no... Uh, listen. There is no debate. This is not out for the debate. It's not out for the fucking debate. Customer is always fucking right. Do you know why? Because I give you the fucking money. Everybody here gives you the goddamn money. Without us, you wouldn't exist as a company. We give you the fucking money. Make the game fucking work. And if it's not ready, do not fucking release it. Tired of it, man. Same thing with the Elden Ring. I'm sure when it comes out. Issues with the PC. Every fucking game is going to be issues. Every game comes out this year. It's going to be issues. Issues. I'm, we're tired of it. Tired. Tired, man. Fucking tired, man. Let's make a camp. I just want to enjoy the game and play it. That's all we want to do. Look, I can't even make a camp. Why not? Oh, I don't have a camping kit. Great. Oh, great. Let's just run. Let's continue. Oh, wonderful. Look, I gave her. Look, they're not using their health. Oh my god. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as a I know, you know what it is, Jose, I'm just tired of it, man. Like, look at this, I have bugs. The game is not working, it's not bad enough, performance is terrible, but the game has bugs. I can't give health to my pawns. I can't kill that boss, he keeps regenerating. Uh, I mean, it's getting old, man, it's getting old. It's just getting old, man. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh shit. Let's just run, dude. Fuck it. I'm not asking developers to make the game easy. I'm simply asking, make it run. Make it work. So I can use my items. I can't even use my items to my pawns. That because there's a, there's a bug. Let's go around here. See, we can go around. Fuck it. Yeah. A fine place to harvest some of your yes. Oh, wow, fucking great. Bear Master Thorians. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. One of us has been poisoned. Oh, fuck. Quickly, Arisen. You must regain your footing. So what can I do here? Not fucking much. Let's just run. Can't even jump in the water. If you jump in the water, you die. What what is that all about? Like, come on, man. Shall we see if there's to be found? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, fuck that. Not going there. Who's down? I know. You know what it is, uh, Corey? I don't mind the challenge. You know, I'll take the challenge any day. It's not about that. It's about the fact that I can't use my potions. To my pawns I mean I'll defeat whatever's in my way I don't care I'll, I'll you know I'll manage but I can't even use my potions on top of the bad performance low frame rates you know let me see if I can give them a, a potion right now let's see let's give it to uh, diamond fresh use it Let's see if she uses it. One whom I serve prefers to have these strings for allies. Diamond Fresh, why aren't you using the, the potion that I gave you? See, she's not using it. 
and then that and then that whatever that thing is that troll that hairy troll beast we killed it and you saw it jose you, we killed it and it regenerated it freaking regenerated while we were killing it while he was walking we were stabbing it and stabbing it we were attached to it and stabbing it and stabbing it and he was still walking he was still you know and then he regenerated no big deal like nothing you know you saw that it, it's on live stream I mean there was four of us one two three four me diamond fresh Anya and uh, what's her name Ada we all jumped in and we were like stabbing this beast and he had like a little bit of health left and he was walking he was walking and then we stabbed him with the last stab and uh, the health goes down and then he regenerates as he's walking and then I tried to give potion to my pawns nothing happens nothing I just wasted my potion for nothing I don't know I have to look I don't know Alex I have to I don't remember that's something you guys need to look at can't even get my relic can I you can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need master knowing when to use curatives is my specialty oh she's a level 16 Nah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep Anya. It's all right. But I'll add you to the favorites. How's that? If I ever need you, I'll add you to the favorites. How's that? This pawn has been added to your favorites. One thirty. Let me see. One thirty-one. It's already been one hour and thirty-one minutes. Me streaming. Jesus Christ. I didn't realize. I just realized. Oh, it's already been one hour and a half. Wow. So she's in my favorites. So it's all good. Should I hire her? I don't know. She's level 16. Her strength's 141. What is Abby? Strength 236, defense 233, magic 47, stamina 954. She got, I don't know, dude. Um, oh, so there's like a different layers of health. So they have like a multiple layers of health. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know. I have to uh, rewatch that. You guys will have to rewatch that. I don't know because I could swear, dude, we did it twice. And his health gauge went twice. So I don't know like how many times do we have to stab him. Jesus. Um, you know. But anyway, I'll, I'll have to look into it. Um, I have to review that thing. Uh, 
I don't know. Should I get this? Should I hire her? What do you guys think? She's level 16. Um, she can do a lot of damage. Let me see. What the hell is this? What's going on here? Who should I get rid of? Anya, it's level nine. Um, I don't know. One thing I like is how you can get other people's pawns. You know, other people create their own pawns, right? And they put it out there. <laughs> you know what's going to be hilarious? Uh, this girl I know, Diamond Fresh. She's also a streamer. She streams on the Twitch once in a while. When she plays this game and she comes across her character, Pawn, Diamond Fresh... <laughs> And she's going to know who it is. It's me. I think that's going to be hilarious. Alright, so it was not a bug. So, there was two layers... Two layers in the help. First one is covered by bars, and you have to uh, dismiss those bars. And once you dismiss those bars, then you gotta go ahead and finish them off second time around. All right, thanks, Alex, for that, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's good to know that. Um, so I'm in predicament now. I don't know what to do. This other chick, she's level. You know what? Uh, she's level 16, man. So I don't know if I should hire her. I don't know. I mean, I have her on my favorites, so... Let me see. Level 16, health. 75, 954. What do you guys think? Should I hire her? As a pawn. You know what? I'm just going to leave her in my favorites for now. I can always go back to her. Right? She's in my favorites. So once I go to that rift... That rift stone, I can always, that rift stone portal, I can always go in there and I can go through my favorites and I can always, you know, decide who I want to go with me. I want to get this Ivana. Ivana is the, uh, a mage. And this Ivana mage, she's, uh, one of the best pawns. But I can't afford her right now because I don't have enough, um, uh, uh, what you call it, um, those credits, you know, rift credits, RC, rift credits. I don't have enough rift, credit, rift credits, so I cannot, I, I cannot summon her. I wanted to summon her, but I can't. 
But if I have her, dude, she's the best because not only does she give you health when you are being attacked, she's always there protecting you, giving you health. Like a little halo she creates around you and she gives you health. But on top of giving you health to restore your health, she also does a huge damage to the enemy. She can freeze them, she can paralyze them, and she can throw a huge blow to them. So I need her at all times, dude. Um, you know, mages are the best. I'm telling you guys. Get yourself a pawns that are mages. They're the best. The best. But anyway, I have this one in my favorites. She's in my favorites, and if I need to ever, you know, summon her, I can always summon her from my favorites. So it's all good. At least she's in my favorites. You know what I mean? I can always get her, but I really want to get Ivana, that's the one I want, you know. But either way, like I said, it's all good. I can get this one anytime I want from my favorites. They are in my favorites, so it's all good. It's all good. Oh, wait, I didn't know that. Always hire the same level pawns because if you are the same level as you, because if you hire a higher level than you, you gain less experience. Hmm. All right, we're not going to do it then. Cancel. But she's in my favorites, so it's all good. All right. Where's my lantern? There we go. Come on, let's go, guys. Uh, but you know what it's also my fault too um, to be honest I wasn't prepared yes. when, I, when I went on this mission I went in kind of half assed you know I didn't prepare What happened? What the fuck, Anya? Did you fall down? Oh my god, fuck. What's wrong with her? Such a magnificent tapestry. Fuck, Anya, what's wrong with you? Ah! Get up, get up. Another battle, with nearly a moment to breathe. We must try to find a moment to gather our strength. Well done! Oh, we're fucked now. We're, we're proper fuck. Guys, let's just run. Run.
Let's just run. Diamond Fresh, where are you? Oh fuck, she died. Oh my god, Diamond Fresh. Do I have any items? Oh, Diamond Fresh died. Fuck. I should have carried Diamond Fresh. Fuck. Oh, great. Everybody, come on. Let's get out of here. There's a camp over here. Camp. Oh, shit. Oh, this is wonderful. Fucking hell. Dude, this is a nightmare. <clears throat> this really is a nightmare. We're proper fuck. Diamond fresh. Where the fuck is she? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Let me look at the map. How far are oh dude, we too fuck. Far fucking out, man. Far fucking out, dude. Oh, Oh, 
here's another problem. Diamond Fresh is dead. She fell off the cliff or some shit. Uh, fuck. But I can summon her later on. Uh, I need to go to uh, Rift Crystals and do it. Uh, the Rift Crystal Portal. Alright, let's go. What's this? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different. What's Ada doing? I gave her the help. Oh my god, Ada. What are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hear something. Oh, fucking great. Look at that ass. Oh, there's two of them. Great. Not much you can do here. You can't even like why why can't you just build the camp and just go for I mean Why can't you fast travel either? A common reward. Frustrating yourself. You'll find the use for it, I'm sure. Come on, just run, run, for fuck's sake, just run. Oh, fucking great. Oh, wonderful. I'm gonna load from the last in rest. Fuck this. Yeah. Cause I can't, dude. Like I have nothing to go go with here. I have fucking nothing to go with it, man. I cannot I cannot accept these missions unless I'm fucking ready, dude. I can't be wandering around going in the forest and shit. I gotta have some mages, I gotta be ready, I gotta be fucking prepared. I can't fucking go in there like this. I can't fucking go in there like that. All right. I had no choice. I had to start from here. Let's have a look then. Cool. Let's see. 
Speak with the Captain Brent in the tavern tonight. Eh, visit this. All right, I guess we have to do that again. Well, we'll do it. But we'll do it some other time, man. I I don't have the energy to go through this again. Because tomorrow I gotta play Rise of the Ronin. I mean, here's what I'm gonna say about this game. Um. It's it's a bit of a mess on a PC, man. It, it, it's it's a damn mess, you know. There's it's performance issues and performance issues play a great deal in this game, dude. That means you live or you die if your frame rate fucking drops, and that's not fucking good. So that sucks. Number one. Number two. There has been some bugs. I noticed some bugs in this game. Like, I can't... Uh, my pawns will not use the potion that I give them. And they're supposed to use that potion when I give it to them. I've and, just recalled a little tidbit and heard from the You know. And they're not using that potion. So that's a big problem. Because if my pawns are dying, and they are going to die eventually... Because they cannot use the potion, that's not good. So you got that problem, which hasn't been addressed. And uh, you can watch them replay this live stream as many times as you want. You're going to see me giving them items, giving them fucking potions, and they're not using it. So that's a fucking bug. It's there. You can look it up, you can rewind it, you can look at it. And you'll see me going through the fucking items like this. And selecting it and giving it to them. Give it to who you want to give it to. Okay? And they're not using the potions. That's pretty fucking bad. If your pawns are not using the potion. That means they're going to fucking die. So that's an issue. On top of the, the, the performance, man. The frame rate is terrible. It's just like 20 frames, 30 frames, 20 frames, 30 frames... Uh, yesterday's been crashing constantly. What else? Um, I don't like the fact that you can't fast travel. You know? You should have the ability to fast travel in this game. I mean, why not? You know? Maybe I don't want to go through all the walking, through the forest. Maybe I want to get there quick. So that, that, the fact that there is no option for that. I don't know if there is. Is there an option to fast travel? Is there? I, I don't know. Maybe there is. But I haven't come across it yet. If there is a, a fast travel, I would like to see it. Where is it? You know, and How do you obtain it? Uh, camping gear, you constantly have to do a camp, camping, uh, camping gear. You have to buy the camping gear and all that. Um, you know, you have to find a camp. Um, I don't know, man. It's just... Um, what I'm trying to say is this. I don't mind the challenge. Okay? I don't mind the strategy, okay? Strategize. Get everything ready before you head out to the mission. Get it. I understand. Prepare. Figure out what you're going to do. Who's going to come with you. Which pawns are you going to summon. But that's all strategy. Right? It's all part of the strategy. And, and, and that's fine. That's the part of the game. That's, that's, that's the shtick of this game. To strategize your uh, company. Meaning your uh, pawns. And to make sure what you're going to be carrying, what type of uh, equipment, etc., etc. When you go out there, see on the map where the camp is, where you can rest, save the game, etc., etc. Uh, how much items do you have? How much items are you going to collect uh, to have with you? That's all fine. 
I have no issues with that. That's okay. That's part of the game to strategize, to make plans, because uh, you can't just go in there blindly, unprepared. I get that. I understand that. Okay. But here's the issue. Here is the issue. The game is running like shit on PC. It's hard to play this game when you got a frame rate dropping down to 20 frames. Uh, when you have bugs like can give a potion to my party. I'm giving them the potions. I'm wasting my potions and they're not using it. Uh, they're not using it. Uh, they're not using it. Yeah, you, you you heard me drop that T there. They're not using it. Uh, they're not using it. Uh, they should be using it. Using it. But they're not. They're not using it. And that's another problem. So you, you got two problems. Terrible performance on a PC. Uh, 20 frames, 30 frames, 20 frames, 30 frames. It's terrible. And then on top of that, you got bugs. Your pawns are not using the potion health, which is essentially crucial to them to have that potion fucking use it. So you have that. So I don't know, man. I, we'll see when they patch it up. You know, I'm going to play it again probably uh, on Tuesday because tomorrow I'm going to play Rise of the Ronin only throughout the day because I want to dedicate a little bit more time on Rise of the Ronin and then on Tuesday I'll come back uh, I don't know man they need to patch this game up as soon as possible because right now man it's just it's a it's, it's an unholy mess on the PC and and it's not just me saying this here I, I'll here it's not just me like talking out of my ass here let's exit all right it's not just me talking out of my ass I'm going to exit the game, and uh, I'm going to show you what people are saying on the Steam. Yeah. All right, so let's read uh, what people are saying. All right, let's go. Stop the game. Where is Dragon's Dogma? All right, here we go. This was posted on March 24th. I was prepared... Hold on. This is from... Uh, NYX Event Horizon. Uh, let's see what he says. Oh my God, love and peace he's writing here. Um, I was prepared for some early on port optimization issues. My rig was for the most part able to compensate never dropping below 60 FPS. It shouldn't take a 4090 and top tier CPU to do that. However, the next issue, however, it's uncoinceivable uh, play the hell out of the original game on console later did the same on PC and then iterate oh, what is it on top of that I have really enjoyed the series it's but refreshing different this guy is writing too much love and peace here hold on
All right, so let's just get to the chase. This guy is writing love and peace. I'm not going to, you know, read. I know what he's saying, and I agree with him. Uh, but I'm not going to read, like, this, this, this love and peace novel. Here, the word he says at the end. Yeah, dude, like, please don't write us a love and peace, man. Just make it short. No one's going to read all that stuff. Um, as it stands now, however, I simply cannot give this the thumbs up. I really wanted to give it, at least for those who were fans of the previous, for now, I stand flabbergasted and saddened to see another franchise have deliberate care that made them special be ripped out and milked for whatever profit they can be still gained from willing spirit left behind. I hope to be proved wrong, however I likely will not be. <sighs> All right, this guy says right here, combat good, story okay, performance bad. Capcom, bad, microtransaction company, wait for sale. Um, the gameplay is great, but all the unnecessary microtransactions at the horrible performance. Everybody's saying that the, you know, besides microtransactions, okay, fine. Every game has microtransactions. Let's just put that aside and I don't agree with microtransactions but every game has it so what are we gonna do not play any games um, the, this guy says the gameplay is great uh, but horrible performance don't let me recommend it right now horrible performance quite possibly one of the worst optimized games I've played I don't care about microtransactions but the FPS in capital it's actually unplayable and he's right. This guy's right. I mean, I, how do I know he's right? Because I'm playing it. I'm experiencing the same thing. So it's not just me telling you this, guys. It's other people who have paid money for this game. On the PC, it's, a, it's an unholy mess. I'm not talking about a console version. I know a console version is a different story. But on a PC, it's an unholy mess right now. Very unplayable with the frame rates dropping. FPS drops. Character stuck in the floor. Can't reload. It's autosaved. After some testing, I found that I was able to improve performance outside cities around 53, 56 FPS by going to Task Manager, going to Details, right-clicking on DD to Exe, settings prior to hide and disabling DLSS oh god what a what a mess dude what a fucking mess <sighs> I post this only as a forewarning I'm a massive fan of Dragon's Dogma 1 and I know I'm gonna love this game hold on as a short summary even though this game seems amazing if it runs well don't even buy it on sale I'm not having half the problems others are with this game it is running extremely smooth except for when I'm on the biggest city all right let's see I was fully intent on refunding the game if it ran like Sh <laughs> But as it turns out, I'm one of the lucky ones who can say it runs good enough on my machine. 60 FPS in the wilderness, shaky 30 FPS in the city. 12 years have passed since Dragon's Dogma 1 was released. 12 years. It was genre-defying, leaps and bounds ahead of its time. If there's anything Capcom has learned, it's how to become... Hey, I'm not going to even read this. <laughs> Played it for about four hours in. All right, so this is what everybody's saying the same thing. They're not saying that the game. Here, here's here. Let me point. Everybody's saying the same thing. Now, yes, elephant in the room, microtransactions. We get it. But every game has microtransactions. Resident Evil has them. Every game has it. 
every game has a paywall behind it. NBA 2K, FIFA, you name it. They, they all have it. Okay? And I don't see anybody bitching and moaning there either. Like they're bitching and moaning here about microtransactions. Fine. I don't like microtransactions, but you don't need them. You do not need them. All right. The main issue that I see everybody's having it's not so much the microtransactions. It's really not the microtransactions. The major issue everyone is having is the performance. Badly optimized game, dude. Badly optimized game. And look at this guy. He's got... Hold on. Let's read this. Hold on. All right, this is from Zero. Zero XC. Let's get it out of the way first. The game, it's very, very, very badly optimized. And not just the performance optimization, but also the graphical aspect of it. It's not bad looking game, but it's not exactly a super good looking one. And definitely not the one that should be so graphically intensive. Not to mention the CPU intensiveness in town. The graphics textures themselves are rather dated. And in the grand scheme of things, looks like something out of an Age of Monster Hunter world while having about two to four time graphics processing requirements for context of CPU 700 uh, 3D, um, AMD 7800 uh, XT, frame rate at 1440p without frame gen tech below 60 in the main screen. Around 60 to 80 FPS around n normal play. That's just bad optimization, especially in a 1440p. I agree. You should be, like, at least getting somewhere close to 144 or 130 frames uh, with a 1440p, man. Um, if you're reading this review and want to have one takeaway, it is that although the game is fun, I will highly recommend to, at the minimum, delay the purchasing of the game until it's on sale. It's not $70 good even on a PC like mine, which can run without issues with some help. Um, yeah, everybody's saying the same thing. Everybody, it, it's pretty much preaching what I'm preaching. No one is like saying this is a shit game, like don't play this game. No one's saying that. People are saying, man, on PC, it's just god awful. It's just god awful on PC, dude. Just horrendous. People with 4090. 4090. I'll say it again. I9 processors. Ninth generation I9 processors. 5.6 gigahertz. 4090. 4090. With 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 uh 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X RAM. 32 gigabytes of DDDR5 RAM. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Deep learning, super sampling 3.0. Are you kidding me? That's, that's dog shit, man. Dog shit. It's what it is. It's a dragon's dog shit dogma. It's a dragon's dog shit dogma, man. 12 years you've been working on this game and you didn't bother to, to talk to NVIDIA, to talk to AMD and say, hey, what the heck is going on? Let's work on the drivers. Let's put up a driver before we release the damn game. On March 22nd, let's put up a really good drivers. Let's get in touch and work with NVIDIA and AMD. So that way, NVIDIA and AMD, they can go ahead and get everything ready. Let's work with Intel and AMD, Ryzen. And let's make sure that it's working properly. Let's get in touch with Microsoft and Windows. Let's make sure that it's running properly on Windows 11, Windows 10. I mean, all of this could have been fixed, adjusted. You had 12 years to do it. You had plenty. Of, see, that's why I'm not giving them a pass. Because this is becoming like a new standard. Oh, they'll understand. Every game has issues. Every game has problems. No. I don't want this to be a new excuse where people get comfortable, where these developers get comfortable thinking, ah, they'll be okay. Ah, don't worry about it. Ah, we'll patch it up in April. 
maybe by the end of April, we'll patch it up. Uh, I don't want this to be a new excuse. I don't want this to be a new standard, man. Either A, the game is ready, or B, it's not ready. And if it's not ready, don't release it. Just release it on a console. It is what it is. People are going to be playing it on a console till it's ready for PC. I don't want to buy a game and then wait for a patch. I know, listen, 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 listen. I know they're going to patch it. I know it will be patched. But I don't want to wait. People don't want to wait. They paid money so they don't have to wait. They already waited 12 years. Now they have to wait another two weeks or whatever. They have to wait another 14 days or 15 days till they get the patch update. Look how long it took for Taxi Life to get a patch update. 15 days for Taxi Life to get, to get an update, finally. And that's just the NPC uh, crossing the street. My whole thing is this. Why is this becoming like a new standard? Why? This shouldn't have to happen. I mean, these are, these are big, wealthy companies, man. Billions of dollars. $8.4 billion, man. That's a big money. That's a big company. There's no excuse for this, man. But they're making it an excuse that this is okay. You know? Like Cyberpunk. It took three years for Cyberpunk. So Cyberpunk was not ready to be released in uh, 2020, right? 2020. Cyberpunk should have been uh, released uh, last year, technically speaking, with a Phantom Liberty DLC. Yeah, it should have been released last year. They should have never released it in 2020. I don't care if it takes three years. I don't care how long it takes. If the game is not ready, don't release it. But see, they want to gamble. See, that's what this is about. It's like a casino. Let's just, let's just roll the dice and see where it lands. Let's flip a coin, heads or tails. Let's see what happens. You know, I don't like that, man. I, I, that's That's... That's, that's a really uh, a shitty direction in, in, in which video gaming industry is going right now. That's, that's, and then the microtransactions, the last minute, <laughs> nobody knew that there were microtransactions, right? And then the last minute, they, they put the microtransactions out on, on, on the 22nd, the Friday. That's not fair. Now, I know you don't need them. You don't have to buy them. You don't need to buy these microtransactions. But my whole point is, why not be transparent? So if, if the company like Capcom, it's not going to be transparent about microtransactions, then what else do you expect them not to be transparent about? It's hard to trust these companies these days. Transparency and honesty and trust is the key in any company between a customer and that company. How can I trust you? You have a... X, Y, and Z, bad reputation. Why, like, why should we trust you? You know what I'm saying? So, um, this shouldn't be a new standard. That's all I'm saying. And it, and it looks like it's turning into a new standard where this is acceptable. Like, this is how it's going to be from now on. Every game that gets released, uh, the same thing's going to happen with Elden Ring. Dude, 100%. Wait till June. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Terrible performance issues on Elden Ring 2. I got a 5080. It's not running well on 5080. It's a brand new 5080. Whenever they release 5080, maybe they'll release it in June. You know, I got a, a you know, 5070. It's not running good. I got i9 processor and not running well. I got 4090, I got 4080 super, nothing's happening, blah, blah, blah. it's terrible, choppy performance. And 
same issue, same problem. It's like, here we go again. It's like the, the White Snake song. Yeah, right? And here we go again on my own. It's the only dragon's dog my road I ever known. Like a drifter, I've been drifting all along. And I made up my mind. You know, I won't get fooled again this time. Hopefully. I don't know, man. I, look, I don't want to be a negative nanny. Look, I love video games. I don't, I don't want you to, to have a bad taste in your mouth when you go to bed tonight. Oh, you know, Mr. Forky is being a negative nanny, blah, 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 and, you know, bitching and moaning. I love video gaming. If I didn't love video gaming, I wouldn't be here sitting here talking to you, playing this. If, if I didn't like video games, that's it. It would be over and done with. You would never see me again. That's it. End of story. But I do. I've been a gamer my almost entire life. For 40, 45 years, almost 45 years. I love video gaming. I love this hobby. I love this passion. It's in my blood. I'm just saddened and, and, and disappointed that this is where we are. Like, this is where we are in terms of video games. This is where we are right now it, it is it is you know disappointing where is the passion where's transparency where developers are like no we're not releasing this game till it's finished we're not releasing it till it's tested we're not putting it out till we test everything where's that passion dude where's that guy where's that team i don't see that team i don't see that guy I don't see that. And it's sad, dude. That's where we are right now. All right, so anyway, I know they're going to fix the game. I know they're going to patch it up fine. And I know I'm going to play it in the best possible performance. I understand. But that's not the point. The point is, can we have a, a good release on a game? When the game is released and it's running smooth, can we have that? Can we have that? Can we, is that like an impossible task? Is that really like an impossible task to do? That's all I'm asking. Let's have a working game on a release date. You have plenty of time to prepare test everything, get in touch with NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, right? All of these uh, manufacturers of GPU, CPU, uh, and let's get everything tested. Especially for a big company like Capcom, that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. Um... Dragon's Dogma, I will continue on Tuesday. We'll play Dragon's Dogma 2 on Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow we're going to spend some time with Keanu Reeves' Rise of the Ronin. So Rise of the Ronin is going to be tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening, man. Thank you guys for being here, man. It's, it's been a great day, man. It's, we did. We've been streaming since, um, my God, since 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, around there somewhere. Uh, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a great Sunday, man. Um, so tomorrow we're going to do uh, Rise of the Ronin. Thank you, Magic. Thank you, Magic Hero. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, uh, Cammy. Thank you, Cameron, for being here. Appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you, Brendan. Thank you, uh, Anthony. Thank you, everybody who is here, man. Uh, happy birthday to Mike. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mike. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Love you. Be good. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, I promise you. As Ronin, the 47th Ronin, Rise of the Ronin. All right, I have to go now. Thank you. Love you. Be good. This is Baba Yaga saying 
Good night. Yeah, Steve, you'll see me on Tuesday, man. You know, I'm going to, you know, try to tweak some things around and, and see what I can do in terms of performance. I'll do some research. I'll talk to some people, see what I can do. Um, and I'll try to do a better job on preparing my uh, pawns and uh, preparing to go on a journey uh, to travel, to do these missions. You know, so I'll do a little better job, have a camping equipment, things like that. So, yeah. We'll, we'll strategize a little bit better uh, on our next time around, you know. We'll try not to half-ass it. I do admit I did kind of half-ass it a little bit, you know. I didn't prepare as I should have had prepared, you know, and it's true. But there were some bugs here and there with potion, you know, performance issues, things like that. All right, guys, love you. Be good. See you tomorrow.